This lecture is about the isoenzymes of lactate dehydrogenase enzyme. As lactate dehydrogenase enzyme catalyzes the oxidation of lactate into pyruvate. And as a result, in this reaction, when lactate is oxidized into the pyruvate, the NAD is reduced into the NADH. So LDH is an enzyme that has five isoenzymes. So what are isoenzymes? Isoenzymes are those enzymes that catalyzes the same reaction but differ in their physical and chemical properties. So LDH has five isoenzymes. They have they catalyze they will catalyze the same reaction that they will convert the pyruvate into the lactate, but the difference will be in the their physical and chemical properties. But in this case, as LDH is the tetrameric enzyme. Tetrameric enzyme means that the LDH is the combination of four polypeptide chains, and these four polypeptide chains are the combination of two types of polypeptides. We have the M type polypeptide chain and H type polypeptide chain. So the combination of these two types of polypeptide chain that they will combine in the ratio of four polypeptide chains, different ratio, different proportions, and they give rise to the different uh, isoenzymes of the LDH. But they will catalyze the same reaction that they will convert the lactate into the pyruvate, and as the reaction, the NAD will be reduced into the NADH. The isoenzymes of the LDH are LDH1, LDH2, LDH3, LDH4, and LDH5. As in the uh, previous lecture, we also uh, um, um, studied about that LDH are uh, classified into these isoenzymes on the basis of their electrophoretic mobility, that they were moving uh, on the basis of their fastest mobility and slowest mobility, that LDH has the fastest mobility when they were run on the electrophoresis uh, on the basis of uh, um, mobility, they were separated. LDH has the fastest mobility and LDH5 has the slowest mobility that they will move towards the, from cathode towards the anode. So in this lecture, we will study about the LDH isoenzymes. We will look at the LDH uh, isoenzymes, each isoenzyme's composition, and we will see for the location that where these uh, isoenzymes are located and what is the diagnostic import importance of these LDH isoenzymes. Now, one by one, first of all, LDH1, let's look at its composition. That it is made up of four, as we said, that LDH is a tetrameric enzyme. It means that it is made up of four polypeptide chains. So, in case of LDH1, the four polypeptide chains are the H type polypeptide chains. So, there will be the four H type polypeptide chains. It's a combination or it is made up of its enzymes are the protein in nature. So, they are made up of polypeptide chains. So, this LDH1 is made up of four. Um, S type of polypeptide chain. Now, where this LDH1 is located, that LDH1 is specific for which tissues? LDH1 is specifically located in the heart and in the red blood cells. So, uh, their normal value is also present inside the. So, from besides these tissues and these cells, LDH level, minute amount of LDH is also present inside the plasma. Normal value of the LDH1 that is present inside the blood is 100. Uh, units per liter. But if the LDH level exceeds this value, then it's the indication of the certain pathologies or certain diseases. So LDH1 most specifically, it's when you increase this value inside the blood, uh, it means that there is, there is some damage or uh, to the cells, to the heart cells or the RBC. So it may indicate the diseases of myocardial infarction because this LDH1 is more specific for the heart diseases. So the increased level of LDH is the indication for the myocardial infarction. After the onset of myocardial infarction, there will be the increased level of LDH, and then um, they will reach up to the peak level, and then after the six or the seven days, it tends to become normal. Then LDH2, the other isoenzyme of the LDH, uh, now let's it's to the composition. Uh, it is made up of two types of polypeptide chains, M type and H type. So as LDH is a tetrameric enzyme, so it is the four polypeptide chains. It is made up of three uh, H-type polypeptide chain and one is the M-type polypeptide. So it's the composition of the LDH2. Now LDH2 is present in which organs? Most specifically, LDH2 is present inside the heart cells and the RBCs. So LDH2 uh, um, is present in these tissues, in these cells, and its minute quantity is also present inside the blood. So the normal value of the LDH inside the blood is 115 units per liter and if it exceeds this value it's an indication for the damage of these cells and tissues it will indicate the megaloblastic anemia as rbc's um, in case of rbc's if there is the uh, decrease in the vitamin b12 uh, then it, it uh, leads to a disease known as megaloblastic anemia in megaloblastic anemia there will be the hemolysis 
of the RBCs or RBC stands to uh, release the LDH, uh, this specifically this LDH2 inside the blood and there will be increased level of LDH2 inside the blood. So now let's come to the third isoenzyme of the LDH, that's the LDH3. LDH3 is also a tetrameric enzyme. It's a combination of two different types of polypeptide chains, but there will be the two H-type polypeptide chains and two M-type polypeptide chains. And where this LDH3 is present, LDH3 is, more, more, uh, LDH3 is more specifically present in the organs in the brain and inside the kidneys. So uh, it's present inside the brain cells and the kidney cells. And what is the normal value of the LDH present inside the blood is 65. 65 units per liter and the increased level uh, of um, this value, increased from this value inside the blood is the indication of injury to the brain cells or the kidney cells. So it will be uh, it indicates the pathology for the leukemia. In uh, leukemia and more specifically, there will be the Hodgkin disease. It also indicates the malignancy as the uh, brain cells are involved. So in, uh, in case of viral meningitis or in case of the fatal meningitis, uh, there is, but for more specifically for the LDH3, For LDH3, there will be the wild meningitis, and in case of wild meningitis, there will be the increased level of LDH inside the blood. It also indicates the malignancy as the brain is involved and the kidneys are involved. The other isoenzyme is the LDH4. LDH4 is uh, the combination of three, three type polypeptide chain, three M type polypeptide chain, and one H type polypeptide chain. So, where this LDH4 is uh, located, tissue specific LDH. Uh, four is tissue specific for the lungs and the spleen. And what is the normal value of LDH present inside the blood is 40. And then uh, the level that is reached to 40 is the indication of injury and damage to the lung and the spleen. So it will lead to the pulmonary infarction, that like lung diseases, lung cancers, and pulmonary infarction. It will the increased value will be the indication of the of the LDH4 will be the indication for the pulmonary infarction. Now the other also enzyme of the LDH is the LDH5. LDH5 is made up of four M-type polypeptide chains. Now uh, this is the combination or composition of the LDH5 that is made up of four polypeptide chains and all these polypeptide chains are of the M-type. Now LDH5 is uh, a tissue specific uh, for the liver. It's most specifically present inside the liver and the muscles. So um, in, it is present normally inside the liver cells and the muscle cells, but it is the minute quantity is also present inside the blood. So inside the blood, the value is 35 units per liter, and the, the, if the value exceeds this uh, limit, then it's the indication of pathology of the liver and the muscle. So in the liver diseases, uh, it is the indication of liver diseases, most specifically in liver diseases, the hepatitis along with the joint is the indication for the um, the increased level of LDH5 uh, above this value will indicate the liver disease among the liver diseases more specifically it will indicate the hepatitis and there will also be along with the joint. And there will be the muscle diseases, uh, the increased value will also indicate the muscle disease more specifically the muscle dystrophy. So these are the isoenzymes of the LDH as LDH uh, is, is, is in general for the all these tissues, but more specifically LDH is collectively used for the diagnosis of heart diseases and most specifically for the myocardial infarction. But there are different isoenzymes of the LDH uh, on the basis of, as we have seen, that they catalyze the same reaction, but they are present inside the different tissues. There are different isoenzymes are present inside different tissues and they differ in the physical composition, they differ on the location, and they differ on the uh, electrophoretic mobility. And these LDH are the most specifically are more significant in the clinical diagnosis of different pathologies and different diseases that they confirm the different pathologies and 